For my final, I chose to do the TEI project. I picked the Edgar Allan Poe Digital Collection as the source of my materials. I wanted to try working with different aspects of TEI, so I chose to do three different types of documents. I worked with a poem, a letter, and a sample manuscript page. For each of my documents, I created a Dublin Core record to go with it. For my Dublin Core XSLT transformation, I decided to display my records as a table. I used both a colored background and boldface font to distinguish the categories from the information. Here is the XSLT document for my Dublin Core records. I used CSS to get the desired formatting outcome in my HTML document, which is listed up here in the head. And then you can see my table structure down below. This is a sample of one of my Dublin Core XML records. When I apply the transformation scenario, this is what the document looks like in HTML. For my TEI documents, I had to find a way to incorporate all three document types into one XSLT document. I decided to create a div section for each document that was distinguishable by type attribute. This allowed me to have different output formats for each type of document while still incorporating them all into one file. You can see these type attributes are then included in the XPath statements when necessary. So here is the one for the letter, for the poem, and there are two different types for my manuscript page. To help the document make sense, I divided each section with a comment labeling the type of document formatting that followed. For these comments, I used the same language used for the type attribute description. So we have a letter, poem, and section for the manuscript page. And then all, if it applied to all three types of documents. As you can see, each of my XML documents is formatted according to the TEI structure necessary. This allows for each document to properly display once transformed for web viewing. So here's my poem. You can see the div up here. And then I have the line groups and lines. For my letter, here's the div labeled, the opener, the paragraph, the closer and the postscript. And this is, we'll go back up to the top, this is my manuscript document. So it had some notes that were included, the title, and then the paragraphs for the document itself. Once the transformation scenario is performed, all three documents display differently, even though they use one XML, XSLT document. So here's my poem. Here's my letter. And here's my manuscript page. The colored text within each document is representative of my different TEI elements. I hope you've enjoyed this walk through my XML final project. Thank you for watching.